New tonight, a tragedy rocking a local family and a community. A mother from Providence is dead. Her son seriously hurt after they were involved in a car crash in South Carolina. And the family was heading back to Rhode Island from Florida, where the boy had just played in a championship Pop Warner football game. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshito is in the control room with the reactions from team coaches and other parents. When you're a team, you stick together no matter what. And now one local Pop Warner team is looking for the strength to get through their toughest battle of the season. A local Pop Warner football team is mourning the loss of 32-year-old Yvette Figueroa, a loving mother of three. Coaches and parents with the West Elmwood intruders tell us she died in a single car crash on her way back from Florida after driving there for a championship game. Her 10-year-old son, who was also a passenger, has not been released from the hospital in South Carolina. She's just a loving, caring person. It's devastating that this happened and we all didn't come back together as we went down as a whole. So. A second team mother was also in the vehicle with her children. One remains in the ICU. I was just with these boys less than 24 hours, and now this, like, yes, that's sickening. Heartbreak hitting all of those in the Pop Warner community, but especially the young children. How do you explain that to 10, 11, and 12-year-old boys? As the football family is raising money to help their own still in South Carolina, they're asking for compassion, generosity, and support. Any little bit helps. We're reaching out to the community. They're our family. West Elmwood is a family, and we ask Providence to please get together. And anyone who can help, any little bit will help, because these families are broken, so we're broken. And the team is hoping to send staff down to South Carolina to assist with the children who are still there. If you'd like to help, we'll have more on different fundraising efforts on our website, WPRI.com. In the control room, I'm Sheena Lashido, Eyewitness News.